Good afternoon, everyone. Jonathan Davis here with Davis Auto Sports. We have a very unique one for you guys today. First and foremost, thanks for viewing. But you are looking at a 2005 Mercedes SL 600 V12 Twin Turbo. This was a direct trade in here at Davis Auto Sports. This car was traded in with 7,900 original and documented miles. Absolutely garage kept since day one of ownership. I actually took possession at the client's home. When he came here to purchase a vehicle from us, he spoke about this as a trade. Didn't want to drive it here because he did live about an hour and a half away. And uh, he said, hey, if you're interested, you have to come to my house because I'm not driving it this distance. This car is absolutely brand new in every aspect. It now has slightly over 8,000 miles it's 8100 and change the exact mileage will be on the listing of course this car is absolutely perfect mechanically cosmetically if the odometer said 200 miles you couldn't contest it although a low 8000 miles it doesn't even show that we've had it on the lift inspected it thoroughly top to bottom inside out there's no leaks there's no bushings that need to get replaced. Everything, lines, hoses, it's as perfect as a car as you're gonna get for a pre-owned vehicle. Original windshield, there's not one chip on it. We're gonna give you detailed video work here in a moment. We're just doing a, a quick walk around to give you the overall view of the car. We are shooting this in 4K, so if you have the ability to watch it in 4K, please do so. We're gonna give you some footage later on of the top up. The top works 100%. We're going to show that as well. Direct trade in, as mentioned here at Davis Auto Sports. Zero paintwork anywhere on this car. Paintwork was inspected by myself, the owner of Davis Auto Sports, uh, our body shop foreman, as well as a paint meter. There's been no body repairs on the car. Only serviced at the Mercedes Benz dealership. Michelin tires all the way around with a minimum of 9 30 seconds of an inch on every tire. In addition to the paint and body being 100% original, it's been fully ceramic coated. Uh, the wheels, uh, front and back side of the wheels also. We have both keys, all the books, all the manuals, original floor mats, the six disc, uh, six disc CD changer, excuse me, I'm very sick with allergies, so sometimes I can't get too many words out at once. Uh, six disc CD changer and magazine uh, is included, rear DVD navigation is included, all the netting and tie downs are included as well. Recently replaced our OEM Mercedes batteries. They are also hooked up to a trickle charger. You will not find one single dent or ding anywhere on this car. One really nice thing about ceramic coated wheels, uh, they don't get as much brake dust on them. Uh, I did drive the car for two days testing everything out. So brake dust did occur. The beauty is you can literally, there's no chemicals needed. Uh, a regular low PSI pressure washer gets the brake dust right off. It almost just sits on top, it doesn't stick to it. So, but condition wise, as you see the wheels, all four, absolutely beautiful inside the barrels, everything. We're shooting this directly in the sunlight so you can see this paint in its true condition. There's no surface swirl marks, no hazing, no webbing. 
That is the original paint on this bumper. The bumper has not been painted. There's no clear brawl on the hood. Original paint on the hood. As mentioned earlier, original paint everywhere. These headlights have not been buffed or clear. They're completely original. I don't know if there's even one rock chip on the hood. Very few used cars, especially of this age, uh, that you won't find even the slightest ding. I, I'm obviously with it being a used car. If we had a couple of us going through this thing and, and we were forced to find something, we may. But I'm telling you, as the owner of Davis Auto Sports, we try to find the cleanest, nicest cars that exist, and this is probably the nicest car that we have ever purchased, considering age and mileage. Go ahead and do a quick walk around with the top up. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and paint meter the entire car. Uh, as mentioned previously, uh, we've already done this ourselves. Uh, but in addition to paint meter and cars, we also go through cars as we restore them here uh, to, to look for any other signs uh, of, of previous paint work. There's zero paint work on this car from bumpers to rocker panels to uh, anywhere. So it's, it's all 100% original. This right here is a paint meter for you guys that are unfamiliar with them. It reads the millimeter of the thickness. A factory painted Mercedes is gonna read from the range of three up to five, typically in the range of like 3.5 to 4.5. So I'm gonna go ahead and meter multiple parts of each panel. And if you hear a double beep, it just means that it wasn't flat to get a new reading. So 
again, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 3.9 and it is 3 over to the decimal and once again the first number is in well they're all in millimeters but to have 3 over is a very fine reading 3.5 most paint meters don't give you 3 decimals over 4.0 3.9, that double beep, it was on the curve, so let's reshoot that. 36, 39, 38, 39, 31. The reason I'm shooting multiple spots on one panel, if I just shot here on this panel, this could have been painted or blended, so I like to shoot multiple spots. 42, 42, 38, 42, 42, 35, 43, 34, 33, 43, 34. So, zero paintwork anywhere, and I do want to, in full disclosure, uh, this this is a magnet base, so it's going to read metal. It won't read anything plastic at all, so it can't read the bumpers. But these bumpers, absolutely inspected by us, have not been painted. So all the glass is 100% original as well.
So all the glass is 100% original as well.
interior wise this car is absolutely gorgeous All the controls function 100%. We'll go through all those in a moment. Absolute non-smoker. Interior is brand new. Beautiful Alcatara headliner pillars. Beautiful stitch work. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do some interior electrical testing for you guys. So keys in here. Start the car that way. Start off with the driver's seat, slide forward. As you see, it's sliding forward, backwards, tilt forward, tilt backwards. We'll do the bottom up and the bottom back, bottom out, 
and bottom down. Headrest, we got a visitor. Headrest up. Ventilated, three, two, one. Heat, two, and one. Your memory seats. One touch window. One touch window. We'll one touch up. One touch up. We'll go ahead and pop the trunk. I'm sure you heard it. We'll go ahead and open it up. While we're back here, we'll knock this out. This functions as it should with the top operating, all that good stuff. Spare, newer battery, that cord's a trickle charger. All of your nettings are in place, your navigation's in place. Everything back here is absolutely brand new. Everything's beautiful as it should be. Functions as it should, handle works great. No, all the leather, all the soft touches throughout this entire car. No sticky soft touches anywhere. All the buttons are perfect. Uh, headlights work exactly as they should. We'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, telescopic going in, going out, up, and then down. We'll go ahead and put that back in a little bit more. All the stitching is perfectly intact. All the bezels around the AC vents are great. No cracking. The leather, uh, no shrinkage of the leather whatsoever. Um, pole seats work as they should. All commands there work. Bolsters have never been dyed. 100% original. Beautiful condition there. Stitching's perfect. Beautiful V12 hidden in there. Seat belts are very clean. We'll go ahead and hop inside. 8,172 miles. Did purchase a car at 79 and change. Uh, I'm not going to turn on the radio. It will kick us off YouTube. Uh, it functions perfectly. Check that out. Those work, which is very rare. No dead clusters anywhere in the car. Uh, you have your sensor gauge up there that functions as well for your Parktronic. Your AC is blowing nice and cold right now. Fan mode works as it should. Temperature gauge does work. I don't want to turn it up right now. Your blends work. issues there whatsoever all of your functions as far as driving um, so your ESP on off suspend I mean it's very very quick on the suspension you almost feel it instantly it shoots up there no issues there Active body control, sport mode, comfort mode, sport mode, comfort mode. That works. Your rear backup assist on and off, no issues there. We did the top earlier, but we'll go ahead and do it again for you guys while we're in here. First, we'll do the sports bar as a standalone system. Now we'll go ahead and go back with the top. Oh, as I mentioned earlier, closed trunk partition. Good real world experiment right there. Oh, soft trunk works as it should as well. Windows first, sports bar, beautiful Alcatara headliner and pillars. Sport bar will make its way back up. 
we could do this a hundred times and it all works just as it should. Retractable roof open, one touch windows, and good to go. We'll cruise over to the passenger side. Door panel, perfect condition, speaker grill, ventilated seats, three, two, one, heated seats, one and two. So we will go forward, excuse me, backwards, forward with the whole seat. You see it sliding forward. Back part tilt forward, tilt back. We will do headrest up, headrest down, and we will do bottom portion of the seat going down, bottom portion going up. First aid kit, netting perfect, nothing's ever been in it, and a truly 10 out of 10 interior. Bolsters perfect, never been dyed, there's no stress cracks even, which is incredible. Just an absolutely brand new car. Here is the engine compartment in its natural condition. We did not steam it pressure wash it, anything of the sort, a quick wipe down. All right guys, here we are in the drivability portion. As mentioned earlier, we uh, took the vehicle in on trade at 7,900 miles, 79 and change. And uh, we have nearly 200 miles on it in this car. It's perfect driving in every aspect. Not sure if it was shown in some of the previous video footage, but I just want to show you that both windows function as they should. And obviously they're controlled by the same one button. On the down, they both go down. And on the up, first one goes up, and then the second one goes up. Now you may see a light from time to time that comes on. That is the traction light. I do like to do spirited test drives just to show you that everything functions as it sh should. And uh, the car can, that's about 40% throttle. So this road, and you'll see the majority of semi trucks pass us on this road. The reason I bring that up is this road is a heavy logging road for logging trucks. So there's very, very deep crowns in this road. And for a car to drive so smooth in these conditions is very impressive. Uh, from steering, I mean the majority of the trucks that we're going to pass are going to be semi trucks on this road. vibration of the steering wheel so much torque but it's so smooth the way it's delivered
very quiet inside here with the top down at 60 miles an hour as well. again no driveline noises no steering noises suspension noises uh, it literally drives like a brand new car Cruise control works as it should. All the steering wheel functions work as they should. Uh, there's, there's not one button in this vehicle that does not operate correctly. Ventilated seat is on right now, nice and cool. Well, that will end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, absolutely gorgeous 2005 Mercedes SL 600. Thanks for viewing. If you have any questions, please contact us. Thank you very much.